Danny, welcome back. How are you settling back in? Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's like I've never been, a re- uh, never been away, really. Um, come back in, the lads being fine and uh, just joining training as usual. Talk us through your season then. Yeah, it's been a good one so far. Um, I think 15 goals, haven't I? Um, at the time at Walsall, so yeah, really enjoyed um, playing and scoring goals. Why were you so prolific there? I don't know, I think it just clicked. I think um, if you look back when I was at Orient, I was scoring goals in this league and um, I had a bit of a bad end of the season there, but uh, full belief that I can score goals in this league. Just to cap it off, what was the January transfer window like for you? Yeah, it was, uh, I'm a footballer at the end of the day, so uh, it's always going to be part and parcel of stuff, isn't it? But um, no, I'm glad it's over and uh, I can get on and concentrate on my football now. What about Saturday? You came on at half time and what a second half performance that was from Mansfield. Yeah, I thought um, once we made the three subs, I wasn't sure that you could make another one, but uh, obviously when I got told that was going, I was delighted to get out there, um, show what I can do and uh, run and work hard for the team. And you might have scored. I could have had a few, to be honest. Um, I mean, there's a long throw in that I've not quite got away from the defender. Um, there's one that's been cleared off the line and I think there's another chance that I um, could have probably got to, but, um, but yeah. Ball's going to drop. I'm going to get there eventually. That was perhaps the best one, wasn't it? When uh, the defender just nicked it away from you and you were perhaps a couple of inches away from heading it in. Yeah, I was maybe half a yard off. Um, but um, he's done brilliant to, to get that away. I don't know how he's got it. I think it was uh, close to going over the line anyway. So I just tried to fling myself at it and just get anything on it. But um, yeah, he nipped, nipped me to it. So I ended up in the net and turned back. and went, oh God, there's a missed opportunity. But yeah, that happens in football, doesn't it? In more general terms, Danny, are you pleased to be back here? Yeah, I'm a football at the end of the day. I want to play football. Um, you've seen it at the weekend that I've gotten and played and um, I've fitted in with the lads just, just as I've never been away. It's a similar question, but the nuance is, is different. Are you happy to be back here? Yeah, I want to be playing football. Um, I live local, um, so i um, contracted at the club and obviously there was no problem before that. Um, I just needed to go and play games, which I've gone and done and I've come back and I've proven my point. What are your aims between now and the end of the season? Uh, 15 goals. <laughs> no, um, yeah, obviously get back in the team, get starting. Um, I think I've put myself in good good stead at the weekend with my performance and um, we'll, we'll see where that goes. But um, yeah, hopefully get a few more goals before the end of the season and get in the playoffs. Do you look at the scorers' charts in the League Two table? Because I think you're fourth at the minute. Do you see that as a personal prize to try and win that uh, that individual um, goal scoring tally, if you like? Yeah, definitely. That's every uh, goal scorer wants to go on the season, finish top goal scorer. And I think, um, obviously, being on loan at Walsall, I wasn't able to play two games against Mansfield, so I've missed out on two games. Uh, missed out on a few games. Uh, also, with the games being called off. I know Mansfield are playing more games here, so I'm up against it really to try and catch them back up now. But um, no, um, I'll back myself and hopefully I'll be up there come the end of the season. Let's hope so. Just how committed, how determined, what desire do you have to do well here in this second half of the season for Mansfield? Well, I think if you look back at last year, I was very unfortunate when I got injured. We were on a bad run before that, um, scored a few goals, but then I got injured. The team went on a fantastic run, got into the playoffs, and sometimes that happens in football. But um, no, I've come back. I feel as though I've got a point to prove and um, prove that I can score goals here. Just to nip something in the bud from Saturday because you know what things are like. I think you know what's coming. Yeah, when Mansfield know. scored that dramatic last gasp goal, uh, there's a shot right at the end of you uh, tying your shoelaces. Instead of perhaps, unless you can correct me otherwise, celebrating with the rest of the players. Can you, can you just explain <laughs> oh, it? Yeah, just blown out of proportion completely. Um, I thought Alfie, when he scored, he was just literally going to do a little quick loop and run straight back the halfway line, get on with it. Um, but I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's like a little hesitation when get round the defender. He stood on me foot, pulled all my laces completely tight. And as you can see, there's I know there's a photo and in the background or something like that. But if you actually watch it, everyone's back at the halfway line before I've even got up doing my laces and the referees had to come and speed me up. So it's funny how these things can sort of snowball. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's the social media these days and it? it's, but that's got nothing to do with anything. So. Back to what matters, the football. Is this a team in which you believe you can thrive? Yeah. Um, you look at the squad depth um, for this league, it's, it's really, really good. And um, yeah, we've got to 
all come together and uh, get that result. And I've got to fit back into the way that they've been playing the season. It's not just me coming back and how can they fit in. I've got to try and help them out as well. Gillingham on Saturday. I take it you've played against them this season for Walsall? Yeah, a lovely nil-nil draw <laughs> <laughs> at Gillingham. So uh, at least we don't have to go back down there. I'm guessing they're a different beast now. Yeah, I've not really seen much of them. Obviously, I know that they've signed quite a few players and they've been taken over. So um, they've had a few wins, haven't they, since uh, they've made a few signs. So, um, yeah, they'll be well up for it and they'll get out that relegation zone for themselves. We spoke earlier, Danny, and you gave a wholesome answer about your aims between now and the end of the season. But what are your immediate targets? Get back in the team. Prove that I can score goals here and um, obviously work, work as hard as I can for the manager and uh, try and get as, goals, as many goals to get him in the playoffs. What's your relationship like with the gaffer? Absolutely fine. <laughs> Absolutely fine. I don't know. I know there's been some people saying, oh, you've fallen out of him. But if you look at it last year, everything was just up against me. Um, injury, the injury, the, the way the team were playing. I just, you can't do anything about that. That's football sometimes. Thanks for being so candid. Yeah. Best of luck no, between no. now and the end of the season. Yeah. Thank you very much.